اعطيني بس اشاره نبلش. جود مورنينج ايفريبادي اي هوب ايفري ون فيلز جود اند توداي يو نو اكوردنج تو ذا اوت سايد سيركمستانسز اوكي انستيد اوف ذا تراديشنال كلاسز اوكي توداي وي ار جوينج تو ستارت ليرنينج اوكي باي ديستنس توداي's lesson uh, is uh, the complement of the information that we get last time okay about the the farce that we were talking about its name is marriage proposal and uh, i need to uh, complete the analysis of the main text starting from the main characters uh, how they were in, uh, depicted okay in the farce uh, general information uh, i'm gonna leave review and an uh, e-learning can find all the support and needed material such as worksheets, summary, um, analysis, and everything that you need uh, just to prepare yourself okay, for the exam and get the full explanation that you want okay, for that lesson. Uh, since we started talking about the general idea about the main characters uh, in the first, uh, we were, I'm going to remind you by them, they are uh, Limo, the main character, the second one, Chibikov, and the third one is Natalia. Now, we got a general information and how those characters were depicted by the character in that farce to participate in the development of the ridiculous uh, events, okay, events in general, according to their surroundings. Uh, but that is not enough. Uh, we have, or we need to get uh, another analysis for these characters according to uh, their characteristics, specific characteristics and how uh, they could uh, develop the main events okay, in that first. Uh, in general, I need to remind you okay, how we got general information about these main characters from the text itself. If you remember when we discussed okay, last time, uh, the paragraph or the monologue of Lemove with himself when he was left by an Italian hair father alone at home. So he started talking with himself, uh, check some of this information, uh, could define marriage in general. Uh, he could describe himself, he was talking about uh, how he's gonna bring regularity to his life and so on. You know that all of this information we talked about. But starting from now, okay, I'm gonna remind you by all of this information to build a new analysis of these main characters. So um, on page we have the manual of Lumov is on page 92 uh, from line uh, 45 line 45 uh, to line 62. Uh, that paragraph is talking about the monologue okay, of Lemov at that time and how he could uh, define himself and talking about some of these characteristics of Natalia to be a good wife for him and general information about his personality okay, and general, general information about them. Later on, we are trying to get another analysis for these characters with details. But the, if you're asked, okay, and somehow to find out general information about these characters, you can find them in that paragraph on page 92. Again, guys, that paragraph is talking about the general information about the main characters, which starts from uh, 45, line 45, uh, till 62, that paragraph on page 92, which is talking about general information about these characters. Okay, these characteristics, okay, of Lemov are, when he said, I'm 35 years old, and we said, if you remember, uh, the 35 years, or the 35, or the 30s is a critical age, I mean, it's really fine, okay, the girl whom you are going to get married, you, you can face a problem with it. And the second one, he's suffering from many different physical problems, sort of from the heart palpitation and uh, uh, his weak, uh, his heart uh, muscle is weak. That is why sometimes he feels uh, that some of these sides of his body is trembling, he couldn't stand by. Um, sometimes uh, he's nervous all the time 
he doesn't feel good and uh, he's a sensitive person and uh, uh, sometimes uh, sometimes uh, he's suffering from sleepless nights this is everything you can find in that paragraph how could he define marriage this is the main question you should ask yourself about the answer is as a person who's 35 years old, he's trying to somehow to bring regularity to his life. And we, we got many different examples to differentiate between a single and, and a, a, a married person. And there is a big gap and difference between them. That is why the person who's 35 years old, okay, in the 30s, in the middle age, trying as much as he can to bring regularity to his life and somehow, and we get many examples many examples are okay, to differentiate between them now uh limo was trying to bring regularity okay to his life uh, especially uh because uh, he's suffering from these physical problems that we were mentioning in that paragraph anyway arguably the one who's in the middle age should bring me a person to be a main support okay to him uh, should bring a person to his life to, with the regularity, with regulation that can somehow to his life. And uh, this is all of these uh, issues or points were considered okay to remove in that paragraph. So he said, I'm uh, trying to get married from that girl whom I considered okay is the best one for me as a person who's suffering from these problems and as a person who's in third D's. Uh, I suggest uh, she's the one who could bring regularity to my life. Okay, uh, what are the question? Okay, and another question about her personality. What are the main characteristics of Natalia to be a good wife for uh, Lemov? The characteristics of the main characteristics or important characteristics, okay, of her the, uh, to be considered, okay, as a good wife or futuristic wife for him. The first one, she is. <clears throat> Um, she's uh, uh, beautiful, she's not looking bad in general, according uh, as what he claimed. And the second one, uh, she's uh, a well-educated person. And the third one, uh, I think she's a good housekeeper. Uh, these are the main characteristics that all people okay, are trying to get okay, to bring regularity okay, to his or her okay, life in general. And we got many different examples how the regularity should be brought okay, to the person's uh, life or the group life okay, when he get married, when he gets married okay, from the good housekeeper and good educated person and a beautiful one. So these are the general idea of Natalia. This is what you can find in that okay, paragraph. I'm trying to give you extra information okay, about these main characters to find out in other characteristics, in other characteristics okay, of them. Let me start okay, with Lemov. Uh, Lemov, who's Lemov? Keep in mind, is a person who's suffering from physical problems, the one who's trying to get married, the one who suggested okay, uh, the main idea in the lesson, the one who's in charge of okay, that marriage, the one who's coming for the proposal, the one who is in 30s or in the critical age and looking for someone okay, to bring regularity to his life. So uh, this is general information about the move. What about him? With details. Now, I'm gonna start reading, and by the way, okay, when I finish okay, that class, you can find it early e -learn, on e-learning. Every material, support material, required material, worksheets, extra information that you need to explain every single point in that text. So when I explain all of these details, it's not important okay, to write everything in the board, but you can find. When you log in on okay, e-learning by using your email, uh, your uh, password, and username, you can find all the material included there, uh, such as the analysis, of these characters, extra information, and everything that you want. Let me start okay, with the worksheet. Later on, I am going to upload an e-learning. Uh, let me start with the move. Uh, first of all, both or every single one of those, okay, was a rich and um, you know the enjoying okay the rich life at that time. Uh, the luxurious life 
So the way of thinking was completely different to the majority. Uh, you know, you can notice that like, in the text itself, that how those people come in, okay, to discuss the marriage proposal, but the way of thinking was direct in the, in, to the, to the, in other directions, completely different to the main idea that they should discuss. And this is what I gave, okay, to you in a previous class in the introduction. They were, are they supposed to talk about the marriage proposal? This is the main idea in that uh, situation, but unfortunately they started talking about, or started, the quarrel, okay, between the those people who were in charge, okay, talking about something else, because they trying, okay, the or they enjoying the uh, luxurious life, um, they're they're completely involved in money and all of these issues. They trying to define marriage, okay, as a financial uh, demand. Uh, they can talk about marriage as. Uh, as an economic gain, rather than uh, rather than the the affection. So here, uh, who are the main characters? This is the main question. The answer is the main characters uh, who are wealthy persons or landowners in the upper class in the Russian society. Okay, uh, one of them. Uh, is Lemov, the second one is Chibikov, and the third one is Natalia. These are the main characters. Now, what about the first character, Lemov? Lemov is a man in his mid 30s, being likely to uh, nervous or sensitive, a stubbornness, and uh, hypo. Canadria, okay? Hypocanadria, okay, extreme depression of mind or spurs often centered on imaginary physical uh, ailments. I mean, he's uh, trying to, uh, or he has something in his mind, okay, somehow. These flows are further, okay, amplified because of, he becomes a nervous wreck, a person of broke health uh, uh, or spirits. When he tries to propose marriage, this is the main idea. When he was trying to propose that marriage for Natalia, he proposed a girl named Natalia in his neighborhood. Lemov was a strange man. He went to propose Natalia but quarreled over petty issues. In other questions. When you start reading these paragraphs, what are these issues that they started quarrel on? First of all, as an introduction, everything is, was going well. Lemov came to the Natalia's father. He started talking about or giving an introduction about why uh, he's coming okay to meet him. And uh, that pleased the father greatly because he said that, you know, that I'm shocked, but I'm really grateful and that pleased me greatly because you come in, okay, for that marriage proposal. You uh, are one of my, okay, or like my son, so I respect you and that pleased me greatly. It's an honor. Uh, everything is going well so far, but the main problem when the father went inside to call Natalia to meet that person, unfortunately, he didn't tell her, okay, that that person came for marriage proposal. He was planning to surprise her. This is the uh, main problem, how the problem started. Now, when Italy came to sit, okay, with Lemov at that time, the same room, uh, unfortunately, she saw, she thought that he's coming for, it's a dealer or land dealer is coming for uh, getting or buying or sell or buy, okay, some of these lands, okay, or matters. Uh, that is why the direction of that discussion, okay, was turned to the other way, the other path. Okay, instead of talking the marriage proposal that he was trying to tell Natalia about, they started talking about something else, something different. Okay, so the quarrel somehow started between Natalia and Limov about specific issues. Now, you should ask yourself after that introduction what these issues are. The issues, the first one, they started talking about matters and which one is his or hers. This is how the first quarrel started. Now, when he started suffering from many different physical problems at that time, uh, I mean, 
she blamed herself on somehow and her father as well so they start okay talking about or change okay the way of talking okay to uh, uh, Lemov uh, so they start talking about they started talking about something different okay something else uh, the point was completely different or was changed and they started talking about uh, another thing uh, but unfortunately another quarrel started between them the main quarrel the most particular one the ridiculous one this is the the futility and how it appeared okay in the text they started to, they started the quarrel about their dogs their dogs Natalia's dog and Lemov dog anyway if you're asked to define these issues how the quarrel started between Natalia and uh, Lemov you should mention two points the first one about the matters or lands could be accepted uh, the second one about their dogs Natalia's dog or uh, or Lemov dog Lemov's dog okay again he went to propose Natalia but quarreled over petty issues like the acts and matters this is what I've just mentioned okay about how the first quarrel saw between them somehow and pet dogs pet dogs pet dogs so two points or two issues that how the quarrel start between Lemov and Natalia the first one about pet dogs and the second one acts and matters he also abused Natalia and her father so this is how okay the uh, you know that the main problem okay, started between them this is everything about Lemov if you're asked okay to tell them extra information about the major okay information or the main information that we could find in the paragraph that I told you about or I remarked or I pointed out uh, you can tell me how he was suffering from mental physical problems when he felt sensitive and excited when he started talking with somebody and some of these physical problems were mentioned in that paragraph on page 982 you can find out just to define the first character the second one whose name is Chobakov don't be uh, I know that there are weird names strange names but, but you know that keep in mind that the uh, the uh, the farce okay uh, was taken from the Russian literature. Now the second character whose name is Chebekov, a man in his early seventies, he was a landowner as well, who had a daughter named Natalia. He was a very quarrelsome man. Quarrelsome, you know that. Apparently, noticed okay when the quarrel started between. Uh, Lemov and Chebekov at that time how aggressive he was at that time when he called Lemov by many different strange, strange names and uh, strong okay, words that uh, caused uh, the heart palpitation okay, for Lemov again so he's a quarrelsome okay, in general but had a habit of speaking politely to everyone in Ashili I mean, this is the way of talking that he's using while he's talking to others uh, politely. I mean, his uh, morally behave behavior, he has, a, or he's, he behaves okay morally with other people and politely. But uh, inside himself, inside, he's a quarrelsome person. Uh, but soon calls of the engagement when an argument over poverty okay issues. His chief concerns are maintaining his wealth and keeping his daughter happy. Chobukov is projected as a loving father but a greedy man. He should be. He only have he only has okay uh, one daughter. Uh, he uh, loves her and he is looking for a good husband for her but inside himself he's a greedy man who's looking for a good match for his daughter and somehow he's trying to look for a good husband for her so Chimikov is a greedy person quarrelsome but he has I think you can paraphrase okay, this information by using your own word I think he's he has a good nature inside himself inside himself because he's uh, uh, 
uh, talking or speaking to other people politely and with everyone initially, okay? But he's a great person, he's a quarrelsome, okay? That is why how the quarrel started between uh, Lemov and uh, Chibukov at that time. Finally, Natalia. Natalia is the female lead in this three-person play in that farce. She was merry and welcoming. I mean, she was good with everything at that time, but uh, except only one uh, issue that it started, okay, or that how participated in the quarrel that started between Lemov and, and her. Yet, suborn like her father, you know, there, and proud and possessive, you know, that she's trying to be a leader. This is what we were talking about. I told you many times that he came into how this, how the discussion started between Lemov and Natalia. You, you could notice how her personality was, uh, how harsh, strong personality she had at that time. Uh, she was talking loudly with them. She called them by using many different strong, okay, words that cause a strong impact on his way of thinking at that time. And uh, she's talking loudly and you know that she got that this top boredness okay and the strong personality from her father somehow uh, that is why you can you, you should select specific inherited characteristics of her father okay and how they were taken uh, they were taken from her father to uh, shape and form her personally one of them the how stubborn she was and uh, how strong personality she had and uh, how self uh, confident girl okay she she was at that time so the self confidence the stubborn personality and the self confidence and the all of these okay things when she started the quarrel between her and uh, Lemov appeared okay to the target of the writer now this is the third main character. She was stubborn, strong person, self-confident person. I think, okay, and you know, Lemov defined her and gave John information about Natalia when he said that she's a well-educated person. She's well-educated as well. Like her male fellows, okay, like her female or male fellows, uh, she feels uh, uh, proud, okay, the, uh, you know that, uh, the pride, okay, is the most important thing that can build and shape your personality to be a self-confident person. Natalia was a young girl of 25, you know, that there is a big gap between them, but this is according to the, uh, you know, that the most decision, okay, they decide uh, to get married from that girl. Although, okay, there was a big gap between uh, the 30s and 20s, okay, at that time. Uh, according to her personally, his personally, her way of thinking and uh, uh, the way of thinking, the way of lifestyle and everything. But he felt satisfied when he defined her. He felt satisfied. Although they had a gap between them, she's in 20s, he's in 30s, but... Uh, they feel satisfied somehow. And she lived in the neighborhood of Limov, you know that, in the same district, on the same neighborhood, and could do all the household work. That is why he described her, she's a good housekeeper. She yearned for love and was a quarrelsome by nature. You know that, she, she's getting love, she's fighting that life for love, to find a, a good husband for her, but nature inside herself, in the inner nature, okay, she's a quarrelsome like her father. This is what she uh, got or inherited, uh, you know, that uh, inherited characteristics, okay, she got or she uh, received from her father, the quarrelsome. Uh, but she was top on this self-confidence and so on. And the main, when you follow, when you start reading that paragraph, or these paragraphs in the text, you can find how her father encouraged her that discussion will be more uh, closely. Now, she too uh, quarreled with Lemov over matters and their pet dogs. 
the dogs and matters they are these are okay the main issues that how they started the quarrels about as to which one is the better breed okay this is everything about these main characters i told you uh, as soon as possible i'm gonna upload all of these worksheets or important material and required uh, on the e-learning if you are going okay to write every single word that i explain can find them in that worksheet don't worry about it. Another point, we need to talk about some examples and symbols, okay, about marriage proposal, okay, of or symbolism. Symbolism as a figurative device, the majority of writers, okay, use in, in that piece of literature in general. The symbolism, when you use or take some examples or symbols from the imaginary life, okay just to reflect or to depict okay the target or your target or the needed one in the real life so you could uh, introduce something to that to your target or to that to those readers but you're talking about something different in the real life i mean it's a kind of reflection this is why the, the majority of the critics uh define uh literature as a kind of you know that is looked like a mirror because it reflects the real life by giving many different literary devices. One of these that the majority of writers use is the symbolism. Symbolism, I mean, the writer here in that farce used many different samples, uh, symbols or examples to explain real thing in the real world uh, that should be considered about marriage in general. Uh, these examples or the symbols were used by the writers, by the writers, okay, are the first symbol is the oxymetas were taken from the real world. I mean, he didn't choose a car, uh, he didn't choose, uh, you know, a board, and money, clothes, you know, gold, silver, diamond, every precious thing should be taken from the real life, okay, to talk about how they saw a quarrel, although he's coming for marriage proposal between him and the girl whom he's going to get married from. So he chose me and matters, okay, to talk about how those people were thinking about the economic gains more than the marriage affection. Why later on I'm gonna give you an explanation, okay, about why methods were chosen by that actor to be presented as a simple or example to talk about how those people were in person money only um, the second one okay that were taken as a symbol okay uh, as a symbol or an example okay to be person and as similar as the matters and how they were presented by the writer uh, they dogs okay pity dogs in general so these are okay the two different issues okay were presented in that lesson to uh, uh, to be taken as symbols or examples about how those people were interested in money more than the common thing. Now, how these things or issues or um, how these things okay, were chosen by the writer to be presented uh, in the text uh, could represent okay, the real life. Let me start with the matters or action matters. The action matters uh, represent the power of a Stephen, okay, the power of the Stephen and Natalia. I mean, the power of Rose of that rich family, the power of that rich family. Now we're talking about okay, it takes a farce that was written in the in the late of 18th century, okay, or the beginning of the 19th century. So we're talking about. Uh, an old ages that, that is why okay the standard okay uh, of the uh, the luxurious life uh, were completely different to the current one I mean these matters could be replaced or substituted by cars by houses by silver gold and money and everything could be taken seriously to represent okay the uh, financial life okay so but at that time okay matters were the most important thing okay to talk about the power of those rich families nowadays the power of those rich families okay is based on money 
okay uh, you know um, uh, money could uh, bring the power uh, okay to participate in the government for example to get a high position in the government somewhere uh, you know you should use that power okay to expand okay your authority to include many different areas or places uh, you have a lot of cars okay uh, houses you can travel go and come and you know that this is the power this is the authority okay that should be taken from money nowadays at that time the rich or the richness or the power uh, of these families uh, is based basically in the matters how much matters you have how much power you have this is the balance of the rule okay that those rich families had at that time the late 18th or the beginning of the 19th century so these things were taken to symbolize the power of these rich families what the rich family we are talking about Chimikov Chimikov's family okay the father and the daughter now nowadays if I had a choice to write a lesson or farce like this one okay I would not use matters or dogs to start the quarrel between the one who's coming to for that marriage proposal and the one or the girl uh, who's waiting okay for that person okay to talk about the marriage proposal I'm gonna choose I would I would choose okay something different to represent to symbolize okay the power of these rich families I could choose cars I could choose money I could choose uh, big companies I could choose something different to the current life okay to be a common and familiar to my target when they start reading these paragraphs but according to the text that was composed by a writer in the late 18th or the beginning of the 19th century the situation was completely different because there wasn't these things that, that I'm talking about could be found in our current life. The only thing could be found, okay, to represent the power of these rich families is matters, ox matters, or uh, dogs, and how those people were be proud of themselves, okay, when, when, uh, when they talk about, okay, these things. So keep in mind the symbolism was used by the writer in that text when he started talking about or when he chose two different things to start the quarrel between Natalia and Lemo the first one Ox and Meadow and Dogs those two different things were taken to represent the uh, the power of uh, the power of those rich families in the late 18th or the beginning of the 19th centuries okay another question okay uh, what is the major theme of the play uh, the major theme, the main subject, the main idea, the main point, okay? The major theme of Jibikov, the proposal. Let me start with the first one. Uh, it is a called approach of marriage, you know, this is, it's a cold one, that had been coming in the 19th century, the 19th century, uh, in Russia, especially among the wealthy. You know that all of these events, okay, uh, happened or occurred at that time between uh, between wealth, okay, uh, between the wealthy. I mean, okay, just to uh, paraphrase how the way, how those these families, okay, were interested in uh, the uh, economic gains rather than the uh, the affection of the marriage affection. The play depicts the two main characters are excessively posh and uh, desperately wanting, wanting, okay, wanting, okay, to what each other for economic security, uh, blind to the fact they would not get along well. Another theme is marriage is necessary. Every single one, okay, knows that marriage is necessary. The place suggests that love sometimes is not important, okay, in marriage. It is the other way to stabilize, okay, financial status. I mean, it's not about the marriage itself. It's about, okay, the uh, 
the financial status in general. Now, uh, the question before the last one, what does Chebekov at first suspect that the move has come for? Is he sincere, okay, when he later says, and I've always loved you, my angel, as if you were my own son? This is the uh, initial sentence was said by the father when he was informed by Lemov that, uh, that he's coming for the marriage proposal. I mean, as readers, should we believe Chemikov, according to his, uh, um, or how he could, uh, how he could uh, accepted uh, Lemov as his son, or he, or was he a big liar? We've no idea. I mean, the point is, Chemikov at first suspects that Lemov has come to borrow money. This is the monologue that started okay with. Uh, Chibikov, the first monologue, he said, oh, I think he's coming for money. I'm not going to give him any of them. This is what he thought at that time. But Lemov is coming, okay, for something different. Chibikov is not sincere, okay, in saying this. After some minutes, Chibikov starts fighting with Lemov over petty matters. And in fact, he sides with his daughter in fighting with Lemov. He even abuses okay, Lemov, calling him with bad names. This shows his insincerity okay, in saying this flattering sentence. Flattering sentence, I mean, he said or used many different, uh, you know, that bad words okay, described Lemov at that time. Uh, 